Hello watchers and welcome to this new video. This video will be sharing one of the most useful tools in my arsenal that I'm using on a more or less everyday basis. To be precise for every video that I'm creating. And we will be discussing how to actually utilize multi-track video files within Reaper, which might become especially useful if you're producing video content like me and you want to mix or process different audio tracks within Reaper after actually recording them. Or if you're recording an interview with multiple speakers and you want to record every individual speaker on a different track with a tool like, for example, OBS. Unfortunately, Reaper, at least with version 6.67, cannot load multi-track video files. It will always load the first track and just discard all the other tracks, leaving you with only one speaker when importing the video file. But don't worry, there's an easy trick to circumvent that, and I'll be showing you that right now. Let's start. So as I already said, it can be quite useful to have a video file with multiple audio tracks, where each individual track represents, for example, an individual speaker in an interview setting. Or in my case, I usually have music, my screen reader output, and my voice on separate audio tracks within one video file that is recorded by a tool called OBS. And usually, when loading such a video file into Reaper, Reaper will just load up the video and the first audio track it finds. All the other audio tracks will be ignored. But there are tools that allow us to load all the audio tracks within Reaper. You don't need to do anything except within Reaper. And I will show you how to do that. Step one, make sure you have got Repack installed. Repack is a tool for Reaper to have scripts from users which are not programmed by the Reaper developers themselves installed into your Reaper instance, which is really, really useful because there are thousands of useful scripts out there which allow you to extend your Reaper to a degree where it is definitely more powerful than most other DAWs out there because you can basically script and add whichever feature you like because Reaper is a DAW so powerful and extensible that you can basically do whatever you want with it. I won't be showing you how to actually install Repack because it's pretty really well explained on the website, but I will link you to the website. So in case you haven't Repack installed, make sure to follow the instructions and install Repack. It's really easy. Just run the installer, make sure that all the files get copied to the right places and you're good to go. Step two would be to open up your Reaper and make sure that you can see Repack in action. That would mean that you have the appropriate menu within your extensions menu. Let's see here. We've got the menu bar. Now let's move over to the extensions. And go in there and see if we've got the Repack entry. Yep, we've got Repack submenu. And that's where we want to go. If you've got that submenu, then make sure to open it Synchronize packages S. and go down to import repository. Browse to import repositories I. Let's hit that. Import repositories dialog. Type or paste one or more repository index RLS one per line. Edit multi line blank. And that's a blank multi line input field. Make sure to paste a URL here that I will be linking in the video description because it's quite long and I won't be spelling it out for you. Just make sure to check out the video description and copy the URL that I'm linking there into this feed, paste it here. You can use Control V for that. Make sure to tab and hit OK as soon as you're done. Discover repositories, button OK, button Alt plus O. There we go. I've added this repository link already, so I don't need to do this, but you should do this. And as soon as you do, your repo will probably show a message that it added the repositories correctly, but I'm not entirely sure it might actually skip on that. Just make sure to hit OK and everything should be all right. Step three would be to open your extensions menu and repack menu again. Synchronize packages S. Now we go to browse packages. Browse packages B. Let's hit enter on that. Browse packages dialog. Filter. Edit blank. 
And what we do within this filter edit blank is we enter multi-stream, which is written like this. N U L T I S T R E A M. And now that we've done this, the filter will automatically just filter everything that contains multi-stream, which will be probably just one package. Let's tap a few times. Clear button, alt plus e, display, combo box all collapsed, 1 slash 1840 packages, button. Three times, or four times actually. List i, package, new track, explode multi-stream, multi-track, media files, a new one stream, one track, media files, dot lure, category, utility, version, 1.0.0, author, unknown, type, script not selected, one of one. And that's what we actually want to find. In your case, you won't have the I there, because the I says that you've already installed this package. You don't have this package installed yet. So what you will see here is a package called Lufac. That's the name of the author. It's Leandro, whatever he's called. Um, sorry about that. <laughs> but I actually don't know. Um, it's uh, a French name, I, I, I guess. Um, and the package is called explode multi-stream, multi-track media files to new one stream, one track media files. And what you want to do with this package is you want to install it. And for that to happen, you will have to wiggle the up and down arrow key ones. Selected. So that you can actually select the entry. And to install this, you actually tap a few times. Select all button alt plus S. Unselect all button alt plus U. Actions button alt plus a. Three times until you hit the actions button. Hit that. Context menu menu. And in there you will find an action called install, which I don't have right now because I have this installed already. So I just will have the reinstall button in here. Reinstall v1.0.0 There we go. So you will have the install action. You will hit that and the menu should close for you. Browse packages dialog actions button alt plus a. And after doing that, you hit tap once more. OK button alt plus o. And you have OK and you hit that. And that's the moment where you should get a progress bar and your repack should be installing the package. And after doing that, show a installation successful message. Just hit OK on that and you've successfully installed the script that will do all the magic for us. By the way, if you find this video useful, consider subscribing to my channel, leaving a like or comment down in the video description or follow me on Twitter for regular updates. After doing that, you're good to go. All you need to do now is find a video file that contains more than one audio track. Either you create one yourself or you download the test one that I've linked in the video description. This is a recording of a talk that is actually almost an hour in length but it contains multiple languages, multiple translations. So it got a few audio tracks in there. And we would just load it up the usual way in Reaper. So what we do is hit Alt-I and Enter to import a media file. And then we load the file that is called 36C3-11235-N2-36C3-infrastructure-review-SD.MP4506. There we go, that's my test file. And now that I've got this loaded, let's listen to this. Let's give it a head and see what it actually sounds like. <laughs> Plusieurs langages, l'équipe euh, ces trois Lego sera sur scène plus tard pour nous parler des traductions. As you can hear, it's probably French, so this is not going to help us. But it's only French, right? So you can only hear the speaker in the background, as usual, and the translation in front. And that's just the first audio track that I found, but we want to have all of them. So what we do is we select the item with the control at left and right arrow keys. And now what we do is we press F4. Actions dialog filter. Edit blank. And we enter multi-stream. M-U-L-T-I-S-E-R-E-A-M. And we tap a few times. Run button. Run slash close button. Clear button. Find shortcut. Button. Section. Combo list one list. And we have got the list and let's use the down arrow key once. Description. Script. Lifac explode multi-stream. Multi-track. Media files and new one stream. One track. Media files dot one of one. And that's what we hit enter on. So this took quite a few seconds. Cause what it does is in the background it actually splits this one video file into multiple video and audio files. Because Reaper cannot read multiple audio tracks from one single video file. That's simply not possible right now. So what it needs to do is it needs to analyze the video file, split it into multiple files, and then re-import them 
into your Reaper project. This might take a while depending on the file size, the speed of your computer, this overall length of the video and so on and so forth. Just give it some time. It will finally show the analyzing peaks window and finish and throwing you back into the Reaper window if everything was done successfully. So what we will end up with is a folder, a track folder within Reaper. And it looks like this. The first track contains the original file, but the item is now muted. One open folder 36C3 11235 and 36C3 infrastructure review SD1 item. So as you can see, not the entire track is muted, but the item instead. One muted 36C3 There we go. So that's the original file. You can keep it, you can throw it away. I usually throw it away because I don't need this anymore. The second track, however, is the pure video file. 236 So as you can see, all the tracks and all the items are actually numbered. So this is stream one and this is the video file. If we solo this solo. and play it back, we are playing now, but as you can notice, we don't have any audio here because this is just the plain video without any audio. So this is what the script does. The first stream is always the plain old video. No audio whatsoever. But it's more interesting as soon as you go ahead and skip to stream two. Stream two, as I know from the website, is another video file. It's probably a different perspective on the scene. So let's just go ahead to stream two. Three. And this should already be an audio stream. Let's solo. just solo this and play back. He will be on stage and will tell us how and well it, uh, what it did. Um, I like to start as always and every year with the knock, right? So please give the knock a hand. Let's play. So this is obviously the English original, right? That's an audio stream that we already didn't hear when importing the project from the get-go, cause it's not the default. The default audio stream seems to be the French one. Let's continue to the next stream and play this one back. Das C3L Dingo wird später sagen und erklären, wie sie übersetzt werden und wie sie es macht. This is obviously the German one. Let's continue. Language, l'équipe, uh, ce trois Lego sera sur scène plus tard. And this is the original French one that we got from importing the plain original file. So this is. Six solo then the folder thirty six C three eleven thousand two hundred and thirty five and two plus thirty six C three infrastructure review SD stream five one item. The end of the folder and stream five. So as we now know, our video file contains five streams, three audio tracks, original English the German translation and the French one. And we have two video files, probably two different perspectives on the scenery. But that's basically it. What you now can do, and what I usually do is I usually convert the folder into separate tracks, delete all the streams that I don't need, especially one of the video files, because Reaper is only able to display one video file, obviously. And then you can go ahead and cut whatever you want to cut. We can also unsolo this unsolo. and uh, play it and we will get a mixture of all the audio streams, which just sounds weird. As you can hear, we now have got all the audio files loaded into Reaper. Everything is working as expected, and you can continue your work with all the different audio streams. And that's it, guys. That's been my tip on how to utilize multi-track video files to their full potential within Reaper and Reaper only. Hope you found this useful because this is one of the most used scripts in my daily work by creating videos for you and recording multiple streams at once, which is also useful for giving lectures where I want to fade in my screen reader or my audio signal or whatever else. You name it, it's really, really useful. You find all the links that you will need to the test files, to the repository, to basically everything in the video description. And if you've got any questions or things that are unclear to you, feel free to contact me in the comments below this video. Until the next one, hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.